All right, so one question we get a lot is how to clean dog's ears. We see a lot of ear infections, so we do go through kind of cleaning ears a lot. It's something that you can do at home. It's always a good idea after they get out of the bathtub. Anytime there's a chance they might get a little bit of water down that ear, if they like to go swimming in lakes, things like that, you can use the ear cleaner to displace that water. And it's also gonna help dry out that ear canal. So hopefully it can prevent us from getting ear infections in the future. This is Kalua. She's a really, really good girl. She's gonna be our demo dog today. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna get your ear wash. Uh, this is, happens to be the one we use here. And if you buy one over the counter, that's fine. Just make sure there's no hydrogen peroxide in it because that can be irritating to the ear canal itself. And you do wanna get one that's specifically designed for dogs. Uh, that way it's safe. Their ear canals are really long and L-shaped. So unlike people where what you put in is all just gonna fall out, that lower canal, it's gonna be in there for a little bit before it works its way back up out of there. So you wanna make sure it's something that's not gonna irritate it or make it worse. So that's where getting a dog specific product is important and getting one without hydrogen peroxide is important because if that sits on there, it can irritate it. So when you flush an ear again, their ear canals are really, really long. So, so you're gonna bring this, kind of hold the ear pin up, put this in the hole, and you're actually gonna fill up the whole thing. It's gonna be loud and it's gonna feel cold. And you can see a little bit dripping out there. That's how you know you made it to the top. And you just kind of give it a good old rub. Usually like the ear rub. You shake their heads. So make sure your mouth is closed and you wanna do it in a place that's easy to clean up afterwards. Then after they've given it a good shake, you're just going to take some cotton. You can take cotton balls or loose cotton, and you're only going to go down as far as your finger can comfortably go. Again, you're not going to make it all the way down there to clean the whole thing out. You have to let the cleaner work it out with time. I'm not putting more, I promise. <laughs> um, so you're just going to kind of get the ear pin in and then just wipe gently, okay? You see she had just a little bit of dirt in her ears. She's got really clean ears. She's a good girl, okay? And that's all you got to do. If you want, a lot of people ask about the nubs here at the top. You can use a Q-tip if you want. The key to it though is don't go down further than you can see. Just kind of work right up here at the top, right around all those little nubs, okay? And it can get that nice and clean. The reason you don't want to go down further is not because you're going to hit the eardrum, but again because you can't get all the way down there. So you just end up pushing things down the vertical part of the canal into the horizontal and just gonna sit there. Um, so obviously then we can do the other side for her so she's even, we don't want her walking around sideways. So we just kind of fill it all up. Good girl. Show her today, yeah. A little shake there. And then just, I know, we're not putting any more in here you go. And then just a nice little gentle wipe, okay? It shouldn't hurt. Uh, there shouldn't be anything painful about just washing their ears, so it should be something they can just kind of get used to. If it hurts when you do that, that could be a sign of an ear infection. If you clean the ears out and then they get dirty again, red again later, that's also a sign of an ear infection because they're producing more wax and everything that keeps getting dirty. Or if the ears smell, it's also a sign that they're working on an ear infection. So that would be something you'd want to bring them in for so you can get a look, get them on some antibiotics, and get them some help.